What are we doing then? Just to explain, we've just done a photo shoot for um, Shortlist. That's why I've got a little bit of eyeliner on. Um, but it was worth it because Carl had to dress up in tights and knickers, didn't you? And a lion. Yeah. Not, not even mine. Well, they won't be mine. But <laughs> a woman, a woman had to like lend me, lend me a tights. <laughs> Brilliant. Amazing, right, I'm going to do this. This is Mr. and Mrs. basically. Right. So I'm going to ask uh, a series of questions uh, of, of Carl. Quite a simple question of favourite film, favourite food. And uh, Ricky, I want you to write down what you think the answer, Carl's answer is going to be. Yeah. So hide it from, hide it from Carl. Exactly, yeah. And then That's say just leaving the room or going to a little booth. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then Carl, you'll reveal the answer. Ricky will reveal the pad. Yeah. yeah. Right, I can okay. see that. So don't answer straight away. Yeah. Right, OK. The first one is, what is Carl's favourite film? Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, I, I, before he says anything, I'll have to put it down to two, because I reckon he can't decide between two. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm gonna, straight away, I'm going to do that and that. And if I'm right, uh, well, we shouldn't go anything away. OK? Carl, reveal what your favourite film, or indeed favourite film is. He'll know what it is. It's uh, Kez and Elephant Man. Correct. Yeah. yeah. If you had to choose between the two? Um, probably Kez. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Elephant Man's just great, a Great, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Um, I reckon that really affects you and your kid as well. And well, it's sort of your, well, it's very much, it's very much what I imagined your upbringing well, to be like. Well, I had a didn't I? Well, yeah. And what was the magpie's name? Maggie. Used to come down and peck his grifter. Um, peck, peck me head. Uh, watching the Elephant Man, you know that bit in the Elephant Man where um, uh, Anthony Hopkins uh, takes John, Her John Merrick or Joseph Merrick um, behind a screen and he's showing it to a load of surgeons and he's going, see the deformation of the skull, the spine, the limbs. The, the only thing that is totally normal and untouched are the genitals. Carl goes, think of that. The one thing you would want like an elephant and he gets the head. Yeah. Good, good film, that. Right, <laughs> um. like, next one. We'll go for the next one. Carl's favourite food. Oh, OK. Um, I'm going to be very specific here. I, I, I'm, I, I think we're talking about a meal, are we? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh God. What, an actual main course? Yes. Well, I mean... You're, it... you're not going to know this. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a... It, to get me... OK, I'm gonna, I've gone for something sort of like... Um, uh, a specific, but that gives me a bit of leeway. Um, so I could be totally wrong here. All right. Carl, please reveal. And you mean one for at home, not going out, not going out, something, because if I go out, I make more of an effort to have something that someone's had to do some effort with. No, do, do, you, do you think, like, it, uh, yeah, I've done it like it would be a meal that he could do himself as right, well as... Right, okay, sausage, beans, potato cakes. Oh, I've got it wrong. I thought you were meat and two veg, I've put sort of pork or lamb no, chops. I wouldn't mess about making meat and veg if I was on my own. No? No. What was no it? Way. Sausage, beans, potato cakes. <laughs> Toaster. Potato cakes, beans in a pan, remember, sausage in a pan. I remember you put pan. sausages in the toaster once. Yeah, but... Is that true? Yeah, he yeah, came home, uh, his girlfriend came home to him sticking a knife in the toaster to get the sausages out that were burning. It's, be, it's the way they spit and I... But why did you put them in the first place? Because I don't like when you've got them in a frying pan and then you turn that up and the heat gets going and they spit and then the grease is going all over the sort of the, the, uh, the hob. So I thought, do it in the toaster, let it spit on the inside. Yeah. Not as much mess, but it, it yeah. Lovely. It was ages ago, though. You're saying that as if, that's before I met you. So if you're out and he does his sausages, does he, does he pop them on the grill? Does he put them in the oven? Does he stick them in the toaster like a fucking twat? Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't, I, I don't that's how you find stuff out, though, isn't it? That's how yeah. uh, inventors and stuff come about. Trial. Trial and error. All right, we'll go for the next one. Carl's celebrity. I've got him like that. Celebrity. Oh, okay. Well, we've got, this is one out of two, so we'll go for the third one. Carl's celebrity crush. 
with that one. What now? Yeah. I'm nearly 40. Do you mean a celebrity crush? That's, that's, Do one when I'm a kid or something. That's maybe. the point. So we have got, this is not based on anything because he is, you know, obviously he's never spoken about this or given any. Um, when so I'm hold on, 40. 20 still young, uh, old. Yeah, so, so, say, sort of 14 or something. 15. So hold on, when were you born? Uh, 72. 72. So, so we're talking 84, are we? Uh, 1984. Janet Jackson. She wasn't around in 84. <laughs> We've lost the pen and pen and we're straight away. <laughs> Oh when yeah. She, hold on, wasn't she around in 84? No, it wasn't her. Paula Abdul. No. <laughs> you guys can no. So there's an answer. There is someone who at 14, you thought, oh, she's nice. And I've got to guess who this woman is in 1984. Debbie Harry. No. You don't know yet. No. <laughs> 84. <laughs> Probably um, one of uh, one of Banana Rama. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Because it's so random. And Anything you said is funny. Anything you said is funny. But um, uh, uh, oh, it's also one off. You haven't got anyone in mind. And there's been about nine members of Baran- Banana Rama. Narrow it down a bit. <laughs> no, no, come on. Which one of Banana Rama? Uh, God. I don't know what they're called. It was... <laughs> the darker one. The dark hair okay. one. Okay. Right. Yeah, good. Next one. Have I had that? The darker one in Banana Rama. <laughs> well, remember, you've got to write it down. Okay. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to Sorry. Carl's favourite book. Oh. No. You know this. Well, but are we talking? Are we talking novel, fiction, or what? I think we're talking any. I Just a book. Any, any book. Like if you had to take one book to a desert island, what would it be? You know, I don't know why you do, why you're not writing it out. Well, shut up. Um. Can I we mate? So what? You, you should know what that is. What your favourite book? Yeah. L- listen, I'm I'm thinking of an answer I don't want to embarrass you with. A book of freaks that he carried around for six months. What's that? Oh, no, you're <laughs> joking. That's your favourite book. It was a pamphlet. It wasn't a pamphlet. It was about forty odd pages. It was the book. fifty top freaks given away with some dodgy old fucking magazine. It was with FHM, and it was like a freak book. That was interesting. And you count that as a book. Well, what would you put then? <laughs> I've never seen you with a, bo- a proper book, ever. <laughs> so don't start lying and give me a load of old shite that it's someone like Nurture or something. Nurture. That isn't. What, what, what book would you Friedrich pick? Friedrich Nurture. What? No, you're right. He was, he was right in a way. It was <laughs> yeah, book, let's book, book of Freaks. Let's go for the pad. Let's go for 50 the pad. top. Oh, no, the pad. I've got that. 50 top freaks. No, no, well, it. 50 right. top freaks, Carl, yeah. Carl, Carl, Do you know what? Do you know how he liked it? Because, um... Uh, number 50 was a fellow with three legs. He was so excited. No, there was loads. Huh? No, number 50 was a bloke with two heads. Was it? Yeah, because I said, Jesus, what's number one? Yeah. What was that? Was a bloke shagging a chicken, got killed number by one. a rock? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Carl's favourite song. Uh, okay, again. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll have to do. Um, I'll tell you that. He's it's got a favourite song. Are you just for going for one or two? Oh, no, I'm going to go for a couple here. I'm going to go for. Uh, they, 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 they've both got a theme, um, and then I'm going to do. For, then I'm going to do um, tune as well. Okay, I've got yeah, I've got two songs, and then I've got like a, a an instrumental. Right, I go for um, Stranger on the Shore, Akabilk. All right. And then I'd go for Elvis in the ghetto. Is he getting them? Yeah. And there's one more, yeah? Yeah. Rod Stewart killing a Georgie. Oh! Yeah. Now I went with um, uh, Stevie Wonder in the city. That's all right. That's up there. 
Yeah. Not, not he, likes a so he likes a song with a story. So anything, uh, I'll tell you another one as well. Wonderful Tonight. Yeah, that's... Like that, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, Convinced it's about a disabled fella. Because the lines she puts him to bed. Stuff like that. There's a few little hints. To it's not hints. Nothing to do with it. Listen to Nothing it. Nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with being disabled. No, not a, at no point is there it is. mentioned. Or, no, it is. no. It's all in your head. Um, any others? Let's go for one more. Oh, this is... Uh, this is uh, I'm, I'll tell you, I'm gutted about the old pork chops. You've got to be careful with pork. Why? Worms. It's got to be done, yeah. It's got to be cooked right, hasn't it? Yeah, but then, now they do they do things like pork. This is comes from the man who put sausages in the toast. Yeah, exactly. Good point. Carl's favourite animal. Right. Wow. Well, so that you don't mean a pet? No, I no, I'm I not. Broad, yeah. Just any animal out there. Yeah. No, it's funny because I reckon he's got this one wrong. Oh. I reckon he's put down monkey. But I'd probably pick sloth. I've put chimp, actually. There you go. He, he lumps in great apes with monkeys. He doesn't really know the difference. Um, funny she said the sloth because he went to the zoo and he called me up and I went, went to the zoo. What did you do? He said, uh, watch the sloth. He said, it's annoying. I went, why? He said, it's got a huge enclosure. I went, why is that annoying? He went, it doesn't need it, it doesn't use it. Hang it in a wardrobe, it'd be just as happy. Didn't move. Didn't move in all the time I was there. <laughs> Look, dead. <laughs> I actually thought it was dead. 14 quid you pay to get in there, it didn't fucking move. Didn't, didn't do anything. Why is it your favourite? <clears throat> I think because it just fascinates me that this thing, mm. that a dodo died out, and yet a sloth so is still around even though it's asleep. Yeah. Is that, you know, it's safer in a sort of a dead state. Dido died out as well, didn't she? Dido she died out. For years. Um, that's, the, that's, that's the Dodo and Dido. Didn't uh, do anything. All right, let's go one more. If, if Carl could have a superpower, what do you think he would pick? Wow. Okay. Uh, well, okay, I've got loads of answers here. Um, I think the general public would, would know one of them. Oh, yeah. But they're not, that's a joke one. Um, no, that was a new idea, but you mean one that exists? Well, like, yeah, uh, well, okay, let's not count bullshit, man. Right. That's not really a superpower, bullshit, oh, yeah. That's, okay. a, that's what I mean, that's a made up one, but you're exactly. talking about one that people go, yeah, I'd have that. Flying, invincibility, that sort of stuff. Yeah, well, I've got one, I've got one. I don't know if it's true. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 it's a bit weird. Um, can It's one that I'd pick, but I'm still not 100% if it's the right move. Um, I don't think you've gone for it. Oh, I've gone, okay. Shape shifting. Oh, I, got, I went for invisibility. Mm. Can we see the pants? Mm, sorry, I went for invisibility. Why shape shifting? Why invisibility? Um, just because you know what shape shifting is, you can sort of be anything you want. What would you be now? Uh, on a day like today, probably a blue bottle. Why would you? Why would you be a blue bottle? Just so it's the right weather for it. But, but I'd only do that for a bit. No, no, they, 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 they haven't. Bec no, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it that you see them in this weather? Because they're buzzing around, and it's their time of year where they. Yeah, but we don't have to be a blue bottle to enjoy the weather, do you? No, but I've got to be something else, haven't I? Yeah, but why a blue bottle? That's well, why, what, what would you pick on a day like today? You wouldn't want to be a, a buffalo, a bison, in this. Be well hot. So a blue bottle, why out a about. Dolphin? It'd be, it'd be... In London. <laughs> to... so, so now you're a blue bottle who's got to go on the tube and go to work. No, no I mean, I'm in London. I mean, a, I'm in, in a, London, though. But You've still it, got to be at home. If you're a fucking dolphin, why are you knocking about? I didn't know the restriction was the fact that you had to be caught in the city. Well, I would have... So where's the dolphin? Oh, so you can, you can completely change your species, but you can't move fucking town. Well, then you've got to get home again. <laughs> the shape-shifting, you know what it is? Yeah, you can change into a blue Anything, ball. anything. Yeah. 
But would you be a six foot blue bottle? No, or? just a little one, and then you do that for a bit, and then you change. But why are you else. doing it? What are you thinking? Have you got for your a own... change? Yeah. Well... <laughs> you said it. All right. You picked invisibility. What would you do with that? No, that wasn't mine. My that wasn't my superpower. I, that was my guess at yours, right? Because once you said you wish you were invisible. So you could go sneak into HMV, you go shopping without having stress, pay for it and leave in the morning. Yeah, but that the, was your Yeah, but that's when C- CDs secretly. was out. It's not but, worth it now, is it? No. no fucker's paying for anything these days on the internet. <laughs> Download for fuck all. So forget that. There's no advantage. Being a blue bottle. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? So you go, I'm in London. Oh, there's a bit of shit there. Oh, I'm glad I'm a blue bottle. Oh. <laughs> so, but what if you're shape-shifting... Well, you'll be a seagull and go to Brighton for the day. No, it's not the rules. You've got to stay in London. Why are you imposing this rule of it being in London? I'd give everything a go. I just picked that because it was a nice day and okay. I saw one earlier. Okay, what if you could shapeshift, but it was like changing your region on your DVD. You only had three goes. What would you try and then stick with? Oh. Remember, the world is your oyster. Right. You don't have to stay in Kentish Town for the day. Well, I'd pick, to what, I'd pick what's her name. I've said to you before, I'd be, I'd be a sloth. Sloth. What? Sloth. Oh, you'd be a sloth? I said that. It's still good, isn't it? Because if they're asleep, if I'm not enjoying being a sloth, I can dream about being something else. So it's a safe thing to be. Well, if you're asleep, you can... What's the problem? You can anyway. You can wake up and go, oh, I wish I was a blue bottle or some I've shit. never seen a blue bottle asleep. <laughs> yeah, listen. I called you the other day. You said slugs don't sleep. No, you called me and said, do slugs sleep? Yes. And you said, what did you say? <laughs> well, that's it. You got it all the wrong way around. I said, well, sleep as we know it is very different. You know, some have micro sleep, some can estivate, some can actually right. be all frozen. Right, all right, all right. So I said, what do you mean by sleep? Right? So. Butterfly. Why? If I wasn't enjoying it, it's only for a day. And then you die? Yes. But then you're dead. <laughs> yeah, but if I'm not enjoying it... But why do you... What? The worst thing would be a tortoise. <laughs> you, you don't have to be a tortoise! <laughs> I don't fucking know then. What's that sort of else? No. I, hate, I hate questions like this, because you ask me, I give you an answer and you argue with me. I've told you, I picked three perfectly th- decent things there. <laughs> a sloth. A blue a, bottle, a, a butterfly. Right, why did, you, why did your ch- oh, superpower be, be flying? Then you could be Carl Pilkington. Because Suzanne Superman. would be saying, no. Why? Because Suzanne would be going, oh, nip out and do an errand. Suddenly right. I'm flying around everywhere, busy, because she's going, it's easier for you. She doesn't get out for arse enough as it is. <laughs> I, want, I, I, I don't want flying, and everybody would be on your back, and no, definitely not. Then why choose a blue bottle and a butterfly? That's because their no job. one's. Yeah, but that's as a fly. Everyone's expecting it to fly. And then when I go back to me, I'd appreciate. I've, I've always said to you about not knowing if I feel well. Whereas a blue bottle, it spends its day flying around being sick on shit. <laughs> so if I come back to me, and I'm like, I feel really good now, I'm not throwing up all the time. And right. So there's benefits to being a fly. I think I'd appreciate life more once I'd seen it through the eyes, many eyes, of a blue bottle. What would you pick? Let's change it, because it's unfair, this. What would you pick? Any, uh, any shape shifting? I'd pick either a bird or a dolphin, just, 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 just sawing, an eagle sawing, a dolphin. The oceans, the whole world's my oyster. At no point would I think, I'll choose something that if it's shit, I die immediately. That's much better. Well, we're all different, aren't we? <laughs> That's what this is about. <laughs> right, let's do one more very quick. Okay. What is, well, You're fucking different. Oh, fuck me, you haven't got long enough, mate. Um, I don't think you. Oh, it's annoying that you're asking this now because I've got so much that I'd, I don't know which one to pick. Um, uh, well, uh, it's difficult to write down. Um, Maybe just do a word so that can prove that you will have got it right. If, uh, if 
Uh, well, I think it's... Um, uh, oh. There is one word, and it sort of applies to all the things you might say that annoy him, but I don't know if... What, 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 what's, what's, your, what's your pet's hate? Just when they shit somewhere. What? Oh, they... When they shit somewhere and you can't find it and it stinks. What the... <laughs> I hate that. Isn't that funny? I didn't get that. What do you mean? <laughs> just... What have you thought? Faffing. Too much faffing. Like, is people always... Like, you can't do that. You have to phone five times. You have to put you on hold. People, oh, you, you just mean an annoyance. What did you think he meant? He said a pet hate. I thought you'd... I thought... Right, okay, yeah, what if it was a Sorry, tough thing. What, what do you mean? What do you hate about having a pet? When this shit behind Okay, so good night, everyone. <laughs> okay. That, I'm, that, I'm, that, I'm I, really I mean, like that. I, I've known him for ten years, and that surprised me. <laughs> Hang on, fuck That fucking surprised me. <laughs> I've never... I never... I'm really sorry about that. Right, fuffing. Fuffing, yeah, fuffing. A yeah, pet hate. When, it, when, when, it, when, it, when you're asleep and it licks your bollocks. What? <laughs> no, all right, I got the wrong end. <laughs> Yeah, faffing, faffing, all right. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Fuck me. That's, that's great. That's great. Cheers. <laughs>